Welcome back to all the crackers in the box. Alright, so we're still working on this guy in the background. I know, it seems like I totally forgot him. Did not. He's looking good. Feel a little more confident about him. I have restuffed him. And now his legs can support him. So he can actually stand up if this was flat underneath. But this is pillows underneath because it's comfortable and I'm happy. So let's finish this face off. Give a little couple rounds on him. Really shove that in there. Can push him really hard. Super solid. And go. Working on this head. I was watching a video couple videos recently, so I'm going to do the hamburgers, and I always put theirs at the end of the row, and I always put mine on the first stitch of the next row. Quite a bit different. I don't know if it makes a big difference, but that's how I prefer to do it. And this is just a couple more rows of just straight up single crochet around the block. Gorgeous gray. Really do like this gray. Should not take very long to get this done, and then I can finish off his face. I think this is the only one I'm going to be able to do. Kind of nervous about making the other chair I want to make. I'm looking at maybe, maybe I could spread it out between now and Christmas because it's going to take a lot of thinking and a lot of planning. And I was not expecting to be sidetracked with a unex couple unexpected projects that turned out to be a little more intense than I thought they would be. Let me tell you, Pokemon's are actually quite intense to make. Done the little ball ones before, and their details are just a lot. So, this is a villain from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from the original cartoons. His name is Rocksteady. He has a mutated rhinoceros that is not very big on brain, he is not smart at all. He's a bumbling fool, and it's great. Has a very uh, 80s punk vibe to him. So there might be some more details coming with like his pants having a couple tears, and I'll see what I can come up with. See how it goes. I think he had patches on it. I think there was a pocket at one point on one spot. I don't know, I have to take a look at another look at the cartoon version, an image of it, to really help me figure out if I'm on the right track or not. Alright, we are done. One row. Okay, mark that off. Oh dear. And then I think we are going to get into our decreases to round out the head. Maybe. So 
So two more rows. Just a shape. But I will definitely have him done for sure for Father's Day, which is great. I won't be doing the whole stay up all night trying to get it done last minute stuff. I don't like doing that. I'm trying to get my stuff done quicker and earlier started earlier so I have a little more time for mistakes or whatever if I'm done early that's fantastic there we go pull my rubber thing right off here over there all right. Wrapping up a couple projects already again. That's what happens when you make stuff for smaller people, I guess, right? <laughs> it goes fast with thicker yarn, too. I can see why some people um, prefer it, but I also like it to have the drape and the fanciness of some of the thinner ones, the colors on some of the finer, finer ones are just gorgeous and I just love the way they drape. So I'm willing to take the extra time to make myself something. Not necessarily make it for somebody else though. That I don't know. I would actually have to really think about that. Because it can take a long time to work with really thin yarns and it really takes a toll on your hands. And one more after this. So I'll mark this off. So I'm getting a really nice cup shape here. This is going roughly around his nose, it's gonna go. And I'm not sure how she did that. I haven't gotten that far. I didn't watch that far into the... I just kind of got what I needed so far and I didn't want to fill my brain with the next steps. I'm weird like that. I don't like to go too far ahead because I'm thinking about it when I should be concentrating on the steps I'm on. My Chinese astrological sign and my regular astrological sign are both earth creatures and apparently something I'm known for is just going one step at a time. I'm not busy looking way ahead in the future. I'm busy looking at what's in front of my feet and trying to keep from falling off the rocky path. So I find that to be true of my personality. I'm always trying to keep on without falling off. I don't necessarily buy into astrological signs. I just thought it was kind of cool that that actually, for both, aptly describes something about my personality. I very rarely look at my horoscope. I used to when I was younger, but I found it to be too vague. And I used to look at my tarot cards. I read them a little, but uh, it's hard to read your own. I'm to find the time. So they are sitting, stored safely, waiting for when I want to use them next. It has been quite a while. Last time I used them, I was going through a pretty big depression, and it was just giving me more stuff that was just 
blues and gloom and doom and I just couldn't deal with it anymore. I was just like, you know what? For my own mental capacity, I'm just going to put these away for now because I just seem to be getting a lot of sad, unhappy cards. I'm just going to keep going and I don't really want to see that right now. It's not helping me feel any better. That's probably why I haven't picked them up because the last time I used them it was just not a good time. It would have been fine for other people. But I haven't used them much for other people in a quite a while. Anyways, I don't need to sit here and talk about tarot cards all day. So, now I'm on a row of doing four single crochets and a decrease. To get down to 20... No, 36? 36 stitches from... 36 stitches, yeah. Because that makes sense. Anyways, my math is off. I don't know how what my count is supposed to be at the end. We'll figure it out. So it's four. Just double check that. Just be on the safe side. It is four. One. Two, three, and four. Front loop only. On my decrease. And one, two. Three, four, front loop, front loop, and we have a nice decrease there. And then, one, two, Three and four. Two. Three. And Again, two, three, four, Final decrease with our last two stitches right there, and we are awesome. I'm gonna put some stuffing in this head pretty soon to shape it. Shove that down as much as I can. It's gonna be quite the fella, I tell you. Then it's three. Um, I'm decrease.
to three. And three. One, two, three. Now we're starting to get that shaping going on. Three and one decrease, which is a slip in the front loop, slip into the first front loop of the second, three two front loops, stick them together. And that is our decrease. And we do it all the way underneath, as you would with a regular stitch. It'll make giant holes that are super noticeable, and your stuffing can escape. We don't want that. We do not want that. And with that, I'm going to say, Thanks for joining me here at All the Crackers in the Box, and I'll see you again really soon. Bye.